Yesterday, I made a concept version of my Knight K10 upright piano. The reason I did it was literally just to see if I could. I've recorded 36 out of the 88 notes, one velocity, kind of medium, not loud, not soft. And then, because it was very quiet, even when I play it hard, as you hear, I added some reverb and a compressor, and then we can play it like this. Now, to do this, I just used the trick of Logic. I used Logic's sampler plugin, and I basically went through uh, each note from here, C2, up to C5, so C2, C3, C4, C5, so 36 notes, um, and recorded each one for eight bars. So I would hold it down. Now, the way that I recorded this was just in one take over a 10 minute period, essentially. And then I told Logic to use its transient detection and it would turn it into a playable item across the keyboard. So I had to record each note uh, chromatically all the way up. And it did a fantastic job at turning this into a really, really playable item. So I thought I'd show it to you today, really. <laughs> this is, as I say, is just a concept. And so as a result, this top C, for example, and other notes have lots of background noise in them if you listen long enough. I'll play this top C as an example. There's a motorbike in it. And I'm not going to trim it. I'm not going to noise reduce it. I just wanted to see if I could. But you know what it does? It gives it character. So when you play a big chord, let's see what other, what other noises we can hear. I think there's dogs barking in some of these. I'm sure we'll pick out some together. It's quite funny, really. But no, I'll redo it one of these days with better setup. To the side of my piano, I've got a microphone array with two mics on it and a stereo bar holding it all together on a tripod. And so this piano is kind of roomy and ambient and that's why it sounds the way it does. And I said to myself, all right, what tracks can you fit into just 36 notes of piano from here to here? And I came up with two. So let's see if I can play them in any way, shape or form in a meaningful way. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this pointless little video. In the meantime, in between time, you can download this for yourself from the video description link if you're a Logic user. And if not, the WAV file is in the project, so you can always try and turn it into an SFZ if you want to, if you're that bored, and uh, play it for yourself. If you make anything cool with it, either in Logic or something else, just link back to me and tell me about it. I'd love to hear what you do. If you're bored enough to try my concept piano out, yeah, all right then. Let's see.